Hi there, Joshua Hanlon here, and today I'm exploring the Coptic Christian neighborhood in Cairo, Egypt. As you come to the Coptic Christian neighborhood, there are many different churches to explore. There's the ancient Roman fortress of Babylon, and then on top of that is the famous hanging church, which was built in the 5th century AD here in Cairo. But today I'm walking through an area that's underneath all of that. And this is an incredible bookstore that goes on for quite a while here as you walk underneath all of the churches and around the Roman fortress here in Cairo. There are tons of amazing books on display in many different languages, whether it's Arabic, English, French, uh, all sorts of literature represented here, all sorts of styles. One, one thing I wanted to point out in particular here is the uh, Elizabeth Peters book. So Elizabeth, P Elizabeth Peters was the pen name of Barbara Mertz, who was a famous Egyptologist that wrote some uh, fantastic books on the history of Egypt that are very helpful if you're ever traveling to Egypt. One of the best ones is called Red Land, Black Land, which I actually read before coming to Egypt here and kind of explains the uh, life and times of ancient Egyptians, uh, does a really good job of that. So her books are really great here. You can see there are books for, for kids as well. So here's the coloring books. Um, not all of it even has to do with ancient Egypt. Here's just 100 facts about the Wild West. And this just stretches on forever and ever here as we keep walking down. It just keeps going and going with lots of different uh, time periods covered as well. So you even got more modern books like uh, books on the media um, that deal much more like the, the Arab Spring and some of the more recent history here in Egypt as well. And it's music and media in the Arab world, and then all different regions of uh, Egypt, so like Alexandria, and then obviously ancient Egypt is kind of the, the main focus, but there's also the uh, Coptic Christian history, which as I said, kind of surrounds this whole area. And then what makes this feeling so unique is just kind of the, the fact that you're kind of underground here walking through this, and it just stretches on and on, just feels really, really amazing here. Lots of books in Arabic and about the Islamic history of uh, the region as well here in Cairo and in Egypt. So something to explore for everyone as you walk through here and just keeps going and going. And finally, about this section, it ends here. But between all of these different books, you'll find something you're definitely interested in here. Thanks for watching.